वेलकम टू माय चैनल मोनिका एवेंजलिन लेट्स सी द प्रोसेस ऑफ हाइब्रिडाइजेशन इन मस्टर्ड मस्टर्ड इज वन ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑयल सीड क्रॉप इन द वर्ल्ड बिफोर गोइंग टू दिस प्रोसेस लेट्स सी द फ्लोरल पार्ट्स ऑफ मस्टर्ड एस इट इज मच इम्पॉर्टेंट टू नो अबाउट द फ्लोरल पार्ट्स बिफोर डूइंग क्रॉसिंग इन एनी क्रॉप इन फ्लोरसेंस इन मस्टर्ड इज रेसिन that is the pedicel of the flower is directly attached to the main branch bisexual is the flower consists of both male and female parts complete is the flower consists of all the four floral whorls actinomorphic is the flower can be divided into two equal parts along any diameter you can clearly observe here four sepals are present which are green in color four petals yellow in color six stamens four long and two short it is the male part of the flower the one pistil which is female part of the flower usually self pollination takes place in mustard cross pollination may occur due to wind and honey bee now hybridization it's the crossing between two different genotypes why do we like to do hybridization to develop a plant variety with desirable traits absent hybridization technique selection of parents emasculation bagging pollination prebagging and tagging now the first step is selection of parents selection of female and male plants with desirable characters this is a female plant and this is a male plant this selection depends upon our objective of hybridization the next step is emasculation See the definition of emasculation. It is the process of removal of stamens or anthers before the dehiscence or to destroy the pollen grains of a flower without affecting the female reproductive organ. Sepals petals are also removed. Hand emasculation is the most common method in mustard. To do emasculation, forceps is needed. Remember, forceps should have pointed tips. Let's see how to do emasculation. Select a good female plant. Remove the form silica. Open flowers. From the stem or from the branch in which we need to do emasculation. Usually emasculation has to be done in the morning or evening hours before the bud opens or before the anthesis. Remove the immature buds. Select 8 to 10 mature buds which are about to open on the next day. hold the buds between the thumb index finger and the middle finger slightly pierce the buds with the pointed forcep remove the sepals petals anthers or stamens with the forceps we can clearly see here how to remove repeat the same process in 8 to 10 mature buds For the first time it may be difficult to do this but it is very important to learn as breeding students emasculation is done to prevent the self fertilization in the flower of female plant only the female part that is gynoecium should be left without any damage nearly 8 to 10 buds should be emasculated to have a good result This is the female plant after emasculation. See how beautiful it is. Next is bagging. Let's see the definition of bagging. It is the covering of the emasculated plant with a bag to avoid pollination with any unwanted pollen. Bagging has to be done immediately after emasculation. To do bagging, we use butter paper and also U pin. Now let's see how to do bagging. The emasculated flower buds should be safely inserted into the butter paper. It should be inserted through one side and the remaining end of the other side should be folded in this way. U pin is used to keep the butter paper closed. This is done to prevent the contamination of stigma with the unwanted pollen. Next is pollination. Definition of pollination. Dusting of pollen from a desirable male plant onto the stigma of the emasculated flower that is female plant. Pollination is usually done the next day of emasculation. 
Now let's see the process. Pollen collection. Select the flowers which have mature, viable and fertile pollen from the male plant. Mustard pollen are yellow in color. To know whether the pollen is viable or fertile, just rub the flower on your fingers. Then you can observe this yellow powder type which is pollen. You can clearly observe here. These are the flowers selected from the male plant for testing of pollen. Now let's see the process of testing of pollen. Remove the butter paper of the emasculated plant and test the pollen on the stigmatic surface of the emasculated plant. Hold the emasculated buds between the fingers and then lightly move the flower of the male plant to and fro. Testing of pollen can also be done with a brush. This is testing of pollen with a brush on the stigmatic surface of the emasculated plant. Next step is rebagging. What is rebagging? Let's see the definition of rebagging. It is the covering of the pollinated female plant with a bag to avoid contamination. After pollination, the emasculated flower should be rebagged carefully. The pin is used to keep the butter paper closed, like in bagging. It is same as bagging. The last step is tagging. Tagging is labeling of emasculated and cross flowers with the date of emasculation, pollination, names of male and female plants. This is how we write details of male and female plants on a tag. Male and female plants are represented with a symbol. The tags are tied to the plants with a thread. This is tagging. Thanks for watching. Praising God for His beautiful creation. God makes everything beautiful in His time. So never be discouraged when things go wrong. God has His own time. He makes beautiful. Special thanks to my group members who cooperated with me to do this video. Thank you.